All right, chat. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this regardless. What's this one though? Six and nah, boring, 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 boring. boring. You're going forward through time one second every second. Congratulations, you're a time traveler. What? A bit lame, but let's start here to get to the fun of real time travel to ride on dinosaurs and high five Einstein. Time isn't really a thing that passes, but a dimension, a direction you can move in. We think our universe is four dimensional, with three spatial and one time dimensions smooshed together into a fancy thing we call space time. Mm. What you experience as time passing and your life happening is actually you moving through the time dimension. Mm -hmm. And this dimension is a bummer. While you can go forward, backward, left and right, up and down in the space dimensions, in time you can only go forward. You only get older, never younger. You can't make detours. But this Why? is an illusion. You have far more control over Fix how it. you move through time. To explain how this actually works, without making a maths video, we have to make a lot of physicists grumpy. So please keep in mind that we're simplifying and lying a bit. Okay, so there's a very strange rule. Everything in our universe moves at the speed of light through four-dimensional space-time. Your speed through space-time is the sum of your separate speeds through time and space. It's impossible for you to stay still. Even if you're not moving through space dimensions, you're moving through the time dimension, blasting face first into the future. For you can say Guys, what are these emotes? Jesus Christ, please. Be evil. Be nice. Hey, Killpack. Can't ask. Hello, chat. I hope you have a great day. Oh, thanks so much, man. Thanks for the 50 months. Go down in the time dimension by moving faster through the space dimensions, but in total, you will always move at the speed of light through space-time. If you could somehow truly stand still in space, you'd still move through time at the speed of light, and the other way round. Photons, light particles, move at the speed of light through space. They don't experience any time passing because their speed in that time dimension is zero. In the time dimension, they're frozen in place. If you see light on Earth, from the photon's perspective, it was just on the surface of the sun and then suddenly crashed into your eye with nothing happening in between. <coughs> Remember, we're telling a science story here. In real life, things are more complicated. For one, it's impossible to truly stand still relative to space itself. You can only be standing still relative to other things in space. And you can't really define a reference frame for photons as we just did. For details, check out yeah, our yeah, sources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, back to our story. Okay, so everything in the universe moves at the same breathtaking hey, speed, but this speed is split between space and time. Which leads to all sorts of wacky things, and where we can see time travel happen. Real and easy time travel. When a bus drives... Do you guys believe in the hacking multiverse theory? That every decision branches off into a new universe? ...past you, it's moving a little bit faster through space than you are. So, it moves slower through time than you. Or, how it's usually worded, the bus is moving slower through time relative to you. While this makes things feel like weird physics magic, it's very simple. Move faster through space, go slower in time. Move slower through space, go faster in time. And if you had another person moving way faster or slower than you, both end up traveling different distances in the time dimension. The story that's usually told Wait, to demonstrate what? this is to get twins... Wow, my brain hurts a tiny bit. ...force one of them into a rocket against their will, shoot them through space super fast while the other twin chills on Earth. And because one twin moves very fast through space, while the other moves slowly on Earth, they move at different speeds through time. When the rocket finally gets home, then no longer... I've heard about all of this, I just didn't understand his explanation or why that happens. Fuck, whatever. ...with the same age, and the younger space twin is ready to start years of therapy for being abducted by theoretical physicists. This is the twin paradox, and it makes perfect sense within the rules of the universe. Liverpool science, if you yes, want to learn more about the paradoxes of time, we made a Damn. video about it. But in a nutshell, you're using time dilation. The fact that your position in time is subjective and only true for yourself. With sufficiently fast rockets, you could get as far as you want into the future. Technically, this way you could witness the end of the universe or look at the final thing that will ever happen. Cool. We also made videos about that. We should mention that there's another way to jump forward in time. If you guys had a button, you could press it right now and you instantly jumped 10 years forward in time. Would you press it? 
Massive objects bend space-time, causing time to go slower near them. On Earth, the effect is tiny. The gravity of our planet makes time... Would you be streaming? Oh my god, that's so sweet! That's... That's the most... I'm, well, I'm assuming there's an implication here. Yes? Pass 0 0.0000000... Maybe he meant uh, I would press it twice if you're still streaming. I don't know. 7% slower than in deep space, far from any gravitational fields. Hardly useful for time travel, but it's a start. If you move into a really strong gravitational field, like around a black hole, the closer you get to the event horizon, the slower time passes for you. If we kidnap our twin again, they won't notice it at all. Their watch ticks as fast as it always does. But from the outside, they seem to almost stand still. Only when the twin leaves the gravitational field and comes back to Earth, do they realize they time traveled. Okay, so you can time travel to the future by going fast or near a black hole. But this is pretty lame and has literally only downsides, except for people who want to sort of teleport into the future. Yep. And it makes building a gigantic human space empire super hard, because even if we develop the technology to go really super fast between stars, going on a faraway journey will always mean leaving your home as you knew it forever. Yep. But now that we know all of this, there's actually a way we could use the rules of our universe to travel backwards through time. The past is a faraway land. I've never heard about Let's this, go though. There. So you always move through space-time at the speed of light. If you go pay fast... Pay attention through... now, everyone. Pay close attention. Here we go. At the speed of light. If you go fast through the space dimension, you slow down in the time dimension. And here we find an actual opening for backwards time travel. The theory of relativity, which may be the most solid scientific theory we know, does not forbid faster than light motion through space. If you move through the space dimension faster than the speed of light, superluminal, you need to move through the time dimension with negative speed. That means you go backwards through time relative to the rest of the universe into the past. Actually, scientists have been looking for superluminal particles and given them a name, tachyons. They could exist and would have wild properties like getting faster when they lose energy and, of course, traveling backwards in time. Finally, real time travel. Just like with photons, it isn't really possible to clearly define how time passes for tachyons themselves. They it depends on negatively? how you move through space-time relative to them. But now, for the first time, some observers could actually see tachyons literally traveling backwards in time, which means they could be used to directly interact with the past. In theory, you could use them to send messages to your past self and change all sorts of things that have already happened. Can't we like? Uh, can we just assume that backward space travel, time travel, will never happen? Because where are they? But I guess it depends on what you believe. Maybe it's like Harry Potter, where you can't change anything that's already happened, really. Or uh, maybe it's like uh, the moment you change something, that universe changes, like Dragon Ball. Or maybe, isn't there an idea that, uh, what was that called? Lottery is actually designed by the government to identify time travelers. Stephen Hawking threw a birthday party for time travelers? Oh, I remember that. And no one showed up, right? Maybe with some tachyon-powered sci-fi future tech, you could see a star die before it was born. Meet your great-grandparents. Prevent your past self from making that one dumb mistake. Win the lottery or get eaten by Stupid dinosaurs. Mistakes, man. And create juicy time paradoxes that also kind of break the universe. True. Oh, what's that? Right. Hmm. It seems there are things in our universe that are impossible to mix. Unfortunately, the theory of relativity specifically forbids anything that starts out traveling slower than the speed of light to reach the speed of light. What? Because moving faster through space requires energy, and the energy required to reach the speed of light is literally infinite. Even if you could gather all the energy of the universe, you couldn't accelerate. Does anyone know the name of this song? It is a is an absolute banger. A grain of sand to the speed of light. You can get as close as you like, but you can never reach it. It is possible Let to move back. at the speed of light as photons do, but they always move at the speed of light. If you move superluminally, you will always move superluminally. 
And sadly, so far, we don't have the tiniest bit of evidence that tachyons exist. While they work on paper, so most scientists think they're not real. So for now, it seems that time travel into the past is strictly impossible, no matter how hard we try. Probably better. The past is a faraway land, and while we can look at it in pictures and movies and our memories, it's locked away forever. If like the government managed to get backwards time travel, I wonder what like the first thing they would do is outside of our reach. Well, this is sad. It leaves My you mom? with the most important time there is right now. The moment where you actually exist and a future that's yours to forge. If you want, you could even time travel to it. Is it unethical to kill an innocent person if you know that in the future they're going to become not innocent like your time travel? Luckily, shaping the future is much easier than trying to change the past. With the right knowledge and problem-solving skills, you'll be ready for whatever obstacles will Cool. Guys, go to brilliant.org slash nutshell for 20% off. And then you can learn a bunch of things. That's brilliant.org slash nutshell. Found a way to evade the laws of the universe and go on a truly breathtaking time travel adventure. Like minority Are you report, ready? Yeah. Well, too bad. Would you kill baby Here we Hitler? Go. If I was 110% certain that this person is baby Hitler... Does the man that will grow up become responsible for the deaths of millions? Yes, I would. But I'd need to be 110%, like I said. No. Oh. Look, okay, it's know. the human era. 12,000 years oh, guys, of human innovation question. brought to life. Absolutely Wait, incredible. Is it still an ad? What the tuna? Man, the last like 30% of these videos are just ads. Every time nowadays. Okay, Nim, you watched the video. Now it's time for test. Ah, shit. Chat can participate as well. Question one. What is superluminal? I don't remember. I don't remember. It was like uh, when something's moving through both. Question two. Now, what are tachyons? That was the thing that moves backwards in time, that they haven't confirmed that it exists or not. Question three. What physical property of black hole makes you travel in time? The gravity bends space time, I think. <laughs> One out of three see me after class. There's a best of internet daily dotes. There's the new unusual memes. This thing looks insane. I'm... Oh!